man that you see has a shaved off beard. Look at that Point at one. What is that? Where is it shaved off at? That's not shaved off, brother. That's hair. That's trimmed down, you big dummy. That's trimmed down, you big dummy. Your face is shaved. You are breaking the commandment. You are the one breaking the commandment. You are the one out of order out here, brother. This is called trimmed down. There's a difference between trimming and then sh and shaving off. There's a yeah. You a big dummy. You a big dummy. You, yeah, you, yeah, you're a big dummy. Dummy. yeah, you're a big dummy. Yeah, you're a big dummy. You're a big dummy. Yeah, you're a big dummy. I'm gonna show you something. Uh, give me uh, a. Yeah, I believe in God. I'm a bad boy. Another man I'm gonna show you something. Listen, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. What's your name? Montana. Montana. Watch this. You say that who's perfect, right? Yeah. Say who's perfect. Nobody's perfect. As in who I'm gonna show you. God wasn't perfect. Give me that. Give me so that. that. Make it seem like I'm wrong because I uh, got uh, wrong listen, wrong. That's they so listen. The brother was saying something a minute ago. You can't have this conversation if we all talking. Let's let the word of God talk. Yeah. Let's not let's not say what we say or what we think. Let's and see what the Bible actually say. Basic instruction before let's, we leave earth. All right, let's see what this. Let's see what it say. Read the book of Psalms, chapter nineteen, verse seven. The law of the Lord is perfect. What is perfect? What did the Bible say is perfect? I, I can't. All right, remember. let's see again. Law of the Lord. Okay, read. Yeah, hold on. Y'all I'm about to show you Jesus in a minute. You gotta, be, you gotta be patient. Beans, you gotta be patient. You gotta be patient. Just listen. Read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect. Uh -huh. Converting the soul. So we read in the Bible. It says the law of God is perfect. Converting the soul. I got a question. What is today according to the law? Sabbath day. Tragic. No. What is the day? What is today according to God's law? Sabbath day. It is the Sabbath day. Yeah. Do you keep the Sabbath day? I, I really don't, my brother. No, you really don't. Do you keep the Sabbath day? You don't. Do you keep? The Sabbath, don't answer the question, it's yes or no. I do. do you keep the Sabbath day? I do. I'm no, that's, you get it. it's yes or no, it's yes, you know no. So the answer, the answer would be no. No, I ain't forcing nothing, I'm telling you. Brother, do you keep, hold on, the question was, who is perfect? Let's stay on point. Who is perfect? Read it again. Psalms 19 and 7, the law of the Lord is perfect. One law of the Lord is to keep. Give me that in song. Give me that in Exodus. Hold that. Give me that in Exodus chapter 8. I'm going to show you. This is why we don't understand nothing. Because nobody teaches us line upon line. Nobody yes. teaches us what the they Bible says. We just want to run our mouth. Yes. Read this. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Let's listen. Let's listen. Remember the Sabbath day. God said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six, so six, six days we're able to learn. Keep the Sabbath day to keep it holy. I say, do you keep the Sabbath day? No. Do you keep the Sabbath day? No. Do you keep yes. the Sabbath day? No. You Brothers, do you question. keep the Sabbath day? Oh, yes, yes, sir. We we keep you we keep the Sabbath day. Go back to us, go go back go back to the songs. I'm not answering anything. Notice this. Notice this. Notice this. Notice this. You know what? You like him. You can't listen. You can't. You can't listen. Get it out before you tell your brother. The law of the Lord is perfect. What the Bible just say? The law of the Lord is perfect. What did the Bible just say? The law of the Lord. It's perfect. The law of God. You just running your damn mouth. You just running your damn mouth. You. This. This is why we're in the condition that we're in. It's people like you. You. you it's people like you. You don't even know. The Bible says the law is perfect. If you keep God's laws, yes. will you be perfect? Yes, because He promised us. Oh no 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 no! Don't. I don't want all of that rambling. Let's deal with this with short words. The Bible say don't use many words. If you keep God's laws. Will you be perfect? Yes. So you keep all God laws. You damn you right. You don't love. You, you don't, hey, you don't hey, love. Listen. You don't have sex. Watch this. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm married to one woman like the Bible said. That's I'm married to one woman like the Bible said. Okay? The Bible say no man. Well, let's see. Let's see this. Leave me that in Job. Hold that. Give me Job. Listen up, right? Here's how you run. Run when you can't prove nothing. You run when your mouth just jacking. Read this. Job, chapter 1, verse 8. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth? A perfect and an upright man. A what kind of man? A perfect and an upright man. Why was Job perfect in the 
the Bible? Because he kept God's laws. Right. When you keep God's laws, you are perfect right. in the eyes of God. If you stop smoking, if you stop drinking, if you marry a woman that you sleep, that you lay with, if you don't murder your brother mentally, if you don't murder your brother physically, if you stop and mortify the flesh, if you mortify and control the flesh, you are perfect in the eyes of God. God walked, God walked, Most High sent his son to walk this earth in this flesh to show us we can walk a perfect life in this flesh. Right. Right. There's no such thing as, oh, I can't be, you can't be perfect because you're not trying. Right. Today is Sabbath day. So, you ain't doing no talking up here, brother. So we we ain't, we ain't come to learn from you. We ain't come to learn from you. We ain't come to learn anything from you. You can't teach me. You can't teach me nothing. Watch this. Give me John chapter 2 and verse 3. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you the Bible. I ain't going to show you. I'm not going to show you what I say. Do you ask God for forgiveness? Come on. John chapter 2 and verse 3. I'm going to show you something. Verse John chapter 2 verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. God say, this is how you know him. God say, if you want to know if a man know God. You want to know if a man is walking according to God? Read it again. And hereby, we do know that we know him. This is how you know if a man knows God. Keep his commandments. If we keep his commandments. If you do what? If we keep his commandments. So if you keep the commandments of God, then you're the friend of God. You are a perfect man on this earth. So none of if you are walking in the commandments so of God. Nobody look at a woman and give me uh woman first give me here. first Kings chapter 8. Nobody woman, nobody over here look at give me a woman. First Kings chapter 8. None of y'all look at a woman That's what you do. That's what you do. So you don't do that? I, I, I ain't never said that. Answer the question. Do. The problem is, we're in the flesh, bro. I'm going to show you. Read. Verse 10, chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee. The point is, the point is, are you trying to keep the commandments? You ain't trying to keep no commandments. You don't even know me. I do know you. trying to tell me what I do. I do know you. I do know you. You an Israelite that just like to run his damn mouth. That, that's all you are. Read it again. Have, if they sin against him, if you sin against God, come on. For there is no man that sinneth not. What the Bible say? There is no man that sinneth not. There ain't no man that don't sin. Read. And thou be angry with them. And the most I was angry with us. And delivered them to the enemy. You just don't listen, brother. Brother, you just don't, you just don't listen. You just, you just don't listen. You just don't listen. You just don't listen, brother. You don't listen well. Read. And deliver them to the enemy so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy far or near. That's what happened to us. That's why we ended up on slave ships. Come on. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. God says, but if you bethink yourself, what does it mean to bethink? If I said bethink yesterday, what am I asking you to do? Your memory back. Remember yesterday, God says, but if you bethink yourself in the land where the devil carried captives and repent and do what? And repent. What is repentance? What is repentance? You know what? Because who are you going to teach us? Before, before we got out here, before, before we got out here, who was teaching? Was you teaching somebody? That's the first thing I said. Was, was you teaching somebody? I seen that speaking. And you gonna be gonna be the only ones you see te teaching this Bible, because ain't nobody else teaching this. Watch this. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to repent, brother. What's your name? Tony. What's your nationality? You see that? You see that? What's uh? What's your that Montana? What's your nationality? I know I'm an Israelite, but. But just what you need to understand. No, I don't need to. Uh, what you need to understand you is you got to be keeping to the commandments of God. This is how this is how it works. When you learn that you're an Israelite, you got to repent, bro. Everything that you've been doing in this world, you, you got to you got to change from it. I know you didn't repent. You don't. You see what I'm Watch saying? Watch this. Give me. I'm a. Huh? You, you don't get know that to me. Hebrews 10 to 26. Hebrews 10 26. But I want you to get First Corinthians. I want you to get First Corinthians. I'm gonna show you something. You Tony, like you got I'm gonna show you something. Watch Stop this. It, man. I ain't gotta pretend. I'm the I'm a prophet of the Most High God. Man, All right. these men are prophets Bring of the Most High God. Right. Read. First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse three. We gonna see if he repents. Read. But I will have you know. Uh -huh. That the head of every man is Christ. Who's the head of every man? Christ. Christ is the head of every man. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. Her husband. Read. And the head of Christ is God. Every man, every man, every you a man, you a man, you a man, every man praying or praying.
prophesying, when you pray or you're standing in the midst of prophecy of this Bible, having his head covered, and you got on a hat, having your head covered, but you think hey, you know the Bible, let me ask you one of this honor is oh, his hey, hey, head. You just honor real. Christ right now. Ain't no ho, ho, ho. You, 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 you just honor Christ. No, you can't talk to him. I'm the only one you can talk to. And if you God don't want to talk to me, like that. yeah, God, do. So give me that before. Uh, first Corinthians 14 and 4. First Corinthians 14 and 4. I'm going to show you what God is. Hey. This is how God works. I know God more than Corinthians chapter 14, verse 4. He ain't got on their friends, but he know God. That don't mean nothing. That mean a whole lot. So, ho, ho. You, that don't mean nothing. Number I'm going to show you. Read. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40. That all things be done decently and in order. What the Bible just said. Let all things be done decently and in order. How long it took you to see, get the knowledge you Let got? all things be done decently and in order. Now, young man, I want to deal with you. Come up here real quick. We ain't going to deal with nobody that can run their mind. Go back to that in first period. I saw you had right? your hood on. Hold on one second. Don't, don't block it. Yeah, but you went. Read that. It took you first Corinthians chapter 11, verse 5. Verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonored his head. So the Bible says, don't talk. I know you want to talk. You can't help it. That spirit in you got to say something. Is that hard to understand? It's a holy it says, too. if, it's a if holy you'll have, too. read it again. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. So if you cover your head while you're praying, or you're standing in the midst of prophecy with your head covered, you do what? Dishonoring his head. You dishonor your head, which is, which is Christ. What, the book say about what does that mean if you have your hood on? What do the book say about shape? If you had your hood, y'all saw you take your hood off. But if you had the hood on, what, what, would, the what are you supposed to do? Leviticus. You're supposed to take it off. You see how easy that was to understand? How old are you? Huh? He's 14 years old and he can understand that. Was that hard to understand? But this old man right here, but this old man right here can understand that. What you don't see, no, well, you don't see no shade. You don't see no shade beams you know, up here. No, nope, none of here. Nobody out here is shade. Leviticus. Let's get Leviticus twenty-one and five. That's wow. right. Let's get Bring Leviticus twenty-one and five. That shows you. That shows you his understanding of the Bible. I'm gonna show you something. Come here, come here, officer. Come here, officer. Come here, officer. I want, I want y'all young men. Don't pay. This is an old fool right here. He's an old fool. Bring it out. I want you to read Leviticus twenty-one and five. Let's get some understanding because he don't understand a damn thing. Read. I don't need to remember. Your face. You remember, if you don't keep these commandments, the Most High God and His Son Christ gonna put you to death, bro. You remember that? Read Leviticus chapter twenty-one, verse five. They shall not make baldness upon their head. The Bible say, don't shave your head bald. You cannot shave your head bald. His head ain't bald. You feel this right here? Do you see hair on his head? Why you cut your hair? If you see hair on his head, is it bald? It's not bald. It's not bald. Come on, read it again. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So you can't shave your head bald. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. And you can't shave off the corner of your beard. Now, who do you who do you see out here got that cor the corner of their beard shaved off? Point at the man that you see with the with point at the man that you see has a shaved off beard. Point that one. What is that? Where is it shaved off at? That's not shaved off, brother. That's hair. That's trimmed down, you big dummy. That's trimmed down, you big dummy. Your face is shaved. You are breaking the commandments. You are the one breaking the commandments. You are the one out of order out here, brother. This is called trimmed down. There's a difference between trimming and then sh and shaving off. There's a di yeah, you're a big dummy. You hey, give me that. Give me that. Her you, yeah, you, that yeah, you're a big dummy. dummy. Yeah, you're a big dummy. You don't even know who you're talking about. Yeah, you're a big dummy. Yeah. Huh? I am the rebirth of Christ. The what? Give me the ox, the, 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 the ass, dumb ass, the dumb ass. The ox and the Yeah, give me the dumb ass. I'm going to show you. I, I, I'm going to tell you what the Bible says. According to the words of God, you are a big dummy. You are a big old dummy. That's what the Bible You know, You know that's in the Bible? Yeah, I'm going to ask you a question. What's this? Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom.
I'm going to show you why I called him a dumbass. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 16. But was rebuked for his iniquity. So I rebuked him because of his iniquity. Because he came up here talking about a shaved beard. And his beard is clearly shaved off. I rebuked him because of his iniquity. What did the Bible say? The dumbass. The what? The dumbass. He's a dumbass. He's a dumbass. Now you said the Bible says something about speaking with twisted tongues and you heard me say a couple of things, right? What did you hear me say? And you give me that in uh, uh, Isaiah 29, speak with them in another tongue. Yeah, give me that, 28. So what did you hear me say? Damn. And what else? What else I said? Okay, what is that called? I don't know. It's called profanity? Yeah. I might be rude in speech. But not in knowledge. That's what Paul said. That's right. What I, what I, with our people, you gotta talk to them hard. You gotta talk. You gotta talk to them with the tone that they understand. If I came to you and I said, "Brother Tony, did you know that you were an Israelite and you have to keep God's commandments?" What, what, what would you look at me like? Like some little soft, cowardly little white boy or something? Like why are you talking like them? I gotta come to you and say, Tony, wake the hell up, bro. The reason you don't know your nationality is because they stole your nationality and gave it to you in slavery. Gave you the name African American. Right. They gave you the name Black Man. You call it after a, ha a hairstyle, Afro American. That's this right. is the reason you don't know your nationality. That's but right. here in this in this country, we have learned the king's language. This is why the Bible says this. Read Isaiah chapter twenty-eight, verse nine. Who shall he teach knowledge? Who is he going to teach this knowledge to? Come on. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? And who is he going to make to understand the doctrine of this Bible? It damn sure wasn't Montana. He don't understand a damn thing. Read. Them that are weaned from the milk. Those that are weaned from the milk that learn the basic instructions first. That learn to not shave their beard. That learn to put fringes on their clothes. Take this is the milk. The ones that learn to take off a hat while, they, while the word of God is coming out. That's the milk. That's the little things. Come on. And draw from the breast. Those that are drawn from the breast. The breast meaning the Old Testament and the New Testament. You have to learn here a little and there a little. Come on. For precept must be upon precept. The Bible says precept must be upon precept. Come on. Precept upon precept. It don't matter how many people are here. The word of the God, the word of God don't go out void, bro. The word of God don't go out for it. It could be nobody standing out here. And we will teach with the same passion, with the same intensity. You know why? Because God's word don't go out void. The dumb ass right there said that. Read on. Line upon line. The Bible said it must be line upon line. Line upon line. Here a little and there a little. He says you got to go here a little and there a little. Now I'm going to show you something. All that talking Montana did, how many Bible verses he read? He ain't read not one Bible verse. He say he is higher than the apostles. He probably think he's higher than Christ. But here's what you gotta learn, Tony. You are not black. What color is the scarf around your neck? That's black. So are you black? You are not African American. Who was Af uh, uh, Leo Scipio Africanus? Do you know who that is? Who was Amerigo Vespucci? You don't know who that is. But in this country, you call yourself, or our people call themselves, African American. That's where that name comes from. That's right. But that's not who you are. Bring it You're up. an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Bring it up, are you brother. considered a so-called black man today? That's what you considered, right? God says you're not a black man. No such thing as a black man. There's no such thing as a white man. There are 18 nations on the planet. You come from the nation known as Israel. The nation that he chose. The nation that he chose. You ain't nobody. That's right. Not as long as you're walking in that flesh. You're, you're nothing as long as you don't kill the sin that you're walking in. You are walking in sin, brother. I'm going to show you an easy commandment that he's supposed to know because he say he know the Bible. Give me that in numbers. Give me fringes. This is real easy right 15, here. How old are you, bro? Bring it out. 17. You're 17 years old. I'm going to show you what. In 17 years, nobody has showed you is right in the Bible. But you got to start keeping the commandments of God because destruction is coming to America. Destruction is coming to the earth. We are in the time of destruction, bro. There's so much going on on the earth, and our people walk around aimlessly, 
not knowing who they are and don't care about what's going to happen to them. They don't care about what's going to happen to their soul because of this flesh. Read. Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. The Bible says speak to the children of Israel. My sister right here. I'm looking at you sister. Sister you are of the children of Israel. That's who you are. God is. There's only one God and he's your God. You're of the children of Israel. Read. And bid them command the children of Israel that they make them fringes in the borders of their garment. You got to put fringes on the border, the bottom of your garment. Come on. Throughout their generation. You're supposed to be doing that. Mama's supposed to do that. Grandma's supposed to do that. But why didn't they know that? Why great grandmama ain't know that? Why? Why do you think they didn't know? Because of the country? Go a little bit deeper, Tony. Slave master. Yes, yeah, slave master. We know you know, brother. You with us. <laughs> we know you know. Let the brother learn. Why do you think? What happened in slavery? Brainwashed this. You was brainwashed. Your foreparents, our foreparents, our forefathers were brainwashed. Now we out of slavery. Do we just forget about that? But we have. We have forgotten about it. Now we just care about money, careers, and partying. Playing games, smoking weed, YOLO. One, you only live once, right? That's where our mind is at right now. Who out here is teaching our people that they are the, the children of the slave trade? That the children of the slave trade that happened right in Charleston, South Carolina, are the children of Israel? Who's teaching that? Nobody but us. Nobody but us. They don't learn it in these churches. Mama didn't teach it. They don't teach it in school. They don't teach it in college. Actually, they're taking the information out of college. That's right. Why? So that you never wake up. So you never wake up and see the truth. You will never learn that you're God's son. That you have the DNA of Jesus Christ himself. Give me Hebrews uh, so, uh, 14. I mean, uh, Christ, 714. Hebrews 714. You come from here. You come from the tribe of Judah, bro. The so-called black man. If Christ was on the earth today, he would be considered a black man. Right. Let's see something about Christ. Read. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 14 For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah It is evidence There is evidence that Jesus Christ A black man who is going to come back And redeem us from the hands of our Slave masters Came out of the tribe of Judah But why don't you know that Tony Because The information that was supposed to be passed down For you it got chopped off It got chopped off and, and, and destroyed during the slave trade. And this is the biggest thing that we have to remember. This whole Bible is telling us to wake up. Come back to who we are. Come back to who we are and remember that we're the chosen people of God. Remember that we have the spirit of God in us. And we must move according to the spirit. We have to walk in righteousness. Give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6 and 25. The brother was talking about the law, the law, the law. Which one of y'all perfect? Bro, if you keep the commandments of God, you're walking in perfection. That's but right. the struggle is always maintaining that walk in righteousness. That's the struggle. Because we grow up in this world that is full of sin. So the struggle is, how do I, how do I keep this flesh in line? How do I keep the, this flesh in the straight commandments of God? That is the struggle. And you will struggle. And the Most High put that struggle before you so that you can overcome it. And when you learn to overcome it, then you're going to inherit the kingdom of God. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God as he has commanded us. He said it will be our righteousness if we observe to do all his commandments. So if we keep the commandments of God, we're walking in what, Tony? Righteousness, there you go. You're walking in righteousness. Give me uh hold it, uh all right, get grab that and get me Galatians 5. I want Galatians 5 and uh 24. Galatians 5 and 24. Galatians chapter 5, verse 24. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh. Start at verse 16, I think. Verse 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit. You see that? You got to walk in the spirit. Remember, when you're walking in the spirit, you're walking in what? Righteousness. To walk in the spirit is to walk in righteousness. Come on. And ye 
you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. If you do that, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. You won't look at that big booty or you will see that big booty coming down the street and you will turn your head because the spirit is telling you don't lust after that. Take that off your brain. If you see something that you want, you might have the thought to steal it, but because you're walking in the spirit, yes, that, that thought will be mortified. It'll die right there. Because why? The spirit will tell you, thou shalt not steal, Tony. You got to walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Come on. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit. The flesh lusts after the spirit. That's what it does. This is why it's so hard. People think it's such a, it's such a, 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 a yoke of bondage to keep the commandments of God. I want to be in bondage to the commandments of God. Right. I want my flesh to be in the bondage of these commandments right. so that I will not dis go off the path of righteousness. Right. I don't want what comes with, with, with not walking this path of righteousness. Death is on the other side of righteousness, bro. There's only death on the outside of not keeping God's commandments. Right. We must fall in line with what the Bible is telling us. Why? Because everything we see around us is going to perish. Perish. Everything is going to be destroyed. This is what the Bible is talking about. But guess what? I bet you Montana can't teach that. Read out. I bet you Montana cannot resurrect the dead bones here in Columbia, South Carolina and have them live according to the commandments of God. Right. Mm -hmm. This is the fight. The fight is within yourself to make the spirit walk in the spirit. Control the body. Read on. And the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other. They are contrary one to another. Because you want to do the right thing. Mentally, you know that I'm just, I, I, I really just want to do the right thing. But it's so hard because of this flesh that I'm in. Read. So that she cannot do the things that she want. You want it, it's so hard. You want to do the, you want to do right. But the flesh is like, nah, you're going you gonna to do the, we, we should break the commandments. You know what? It's Friday. We should go to the club. We should go buy, sell, cook, clean on the Lord's Sabbath day. Why not? YOLO. You only live once. But you got to learn to keep the commandments, Tony. So I'm going to have the brother come and show you some simple commandments that you can start applying right now. And we got a school around the corner. You need to come learn with your brothers, man. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.